Today I'm going to show you how to completely disassemble a Powerline 880 or a 7880. I'm going to be working on the newest model 880, but the old metal receiver 880s are almost identical. Here's an exploded diagram showing the individual parts of the 880. There are six screws on each side cover that need to be removed first. In addition to these six screws, there is a screw holding on each forearm. You'll need a number one Phillips screwdriver to remove these screws. You'll want to pay attention to these screws as you remove them. Not all of them are the same, there's four different types of screws on each side cover. The screws for the forearms are also unique. The 880 is easy to take apart and it's easy to repair. The new model 880s have three screws on each side holding the buttstock on. The old model 880s had a single screw holding the buttstock on. Because of the solitary retaining screw, the old 880s often have very wiggly buttstocks. Daisy introduced the A80 in 1972. Since its introduction, there have been several redesigns of the A80. Internal components of the gun have also been changed through the years. In addition to the screw, the forearms are held on by a hook. The forearms also slide behind the side covers. Before removing the side covers, you want to make sure the safety is off. You also want the bolt back. With the safety off and the bolt back, you should be able to wiggle the side covers until they pop free. The buttstock will slide out. The pump arm is held in by one pin. The frame is also held in by one pin. With the pin removed, just spread the back edges and slide forward. The barrel cover is held on by two screws that go through the side covers. With those removed, you can just slide it forward. The pump tube is not held on by anything and can just be pulled off. The chamber seal assembly is held in by one pin. With the bolt pulled back, you only have to twist it off the thumb handle to get it to come free. Here's the chamber seal. It retains the pressure that you pump up.
Here's the pump head assembly. Daisy 880s use one O-ring seal. To remove the front sight, there's a spot on the bottom for you to push it through. side elevator can be pulled out. If you remove your safety button, be ready to catch the ball bearing. The safety button consists of three parts, the button, a spring, and a ball bearing. The buttstock has a pistol grip cap and a back plate. The screws for the buttstock are larger, so I switched to a number two. The pump head is held on by a roll pin. The pump head is comprised of the pump head itself, a pump arm, an o-ring, two metal washers, a buffer, a plastic washer, and the oil wiper, as well as the roll pin which holds it all together. This o-ring seals the bottom of the pump tube. The o-ring for the pump head and the o-ring that seals the bottom of the pump tube are the same size. The trigger assembly is held in with two pins. Thank you.
The exhaust valve assembly is removed by turning it sideways. When you pull the trigger, you activate this valve, releasing the pumped up pressure. The exhaust valve is held together by a crimped clip on the end. The exhaust valve is comprised of the body, the valve itself, a spring, a plastic washer, an o-ring, and a crimp clip. Okay, that was a complete disassembly of the 880. In my next video, I will reassemble this rifle. I will also be making some videos on diagnosing and repairing some of the common problems of the Powerline 880. If you need parts for your 880, check out my store on eBay, eBay ID JL Missouri.